Oh my goodness. Okay. This counter is going on fast. But anyway. Y'all know who I am. Um, I don't really like using the same features back on here, but as though, as y'all may know, um, that's the name I had used throughout the years of being on my channel and everything. Um, one thing I would like to say, I know y'all haven't seen me in years. <laughs> Um, that's because I have been, I had taken a hiatus. Um, I had a lot of things in my personal life that I had to work out. Um, and basically to be my actual self. Also, I have, as y'all probably can see, uh, let's start off by, uh, I want to apologize to my audience for the immature and the, the videos that were basically nonsense, didn't really make sense. Some of them was, were funny just to make others laugh and just to make people's day know but this one is I will start off saying this I'm no longer married I've been divorced for going on two years uh, I'm not going to take all of the credit for my marriage not going as planned or right. Um, there was a few things that my spouse and I didn't see eye to eye on. And I know I admit uh, doing things to cause first the separation and then the divorce. Um, but on his end, I know now, deep down, he's never going to admit his wrongs. He's not going to apologize. He's not going to do anything. Uh, four years ago, my daughter and I were left homeless. It just one week. Yeah, well, one day he just, I guess, decided he had enough. He wanted out. So he left to go live with his sister to um, just be rid of us. I was blindsided by that, to be honest with you. Even though I was doing me, you might well say. And, uh, make a long story short it took me a long time to come to the reality of you know he never want his family back he never he's never going to love me or be back in love with me um he has found a younger woman that he wanted to be with. But mind you, uh, during the course of our separation, he was calling and texting me to come over to his place. I'm fast forwarding now. Um, after he moved out of his sister house, I'm back up a little bit. After he moved out of his sister house, he has gotten, he had gotten his own apartment. And that's when, you know, okay, I'm still, displaced. Me and my daughter are still displaced. But I'm trying to make a way at the same time working to have a roof over our heads. And at the same time, yes, uh, when I had began the affair with someone else, there also was um, 
you know had caused my separation part of it that that didn't work out anyway that was toxic i should have known years ago now that i have grown mature and wiser and everything i know better now anyway moving on um he will call me and I, yet and still i had feelings for him and i still loved him I would go over there, you know, and visit and stay over, over the night. And I went over that time period, went over a course of four months after I had finalized our divorce. Excuse me. And something just hit me like getting older maturing more, learning from my mistakes. And feeling as though he was just using me as a convenience because I guess the young lady didn't have time for him at the moment. So he wanted to occupy himself with someone else, which was me. <sighs> me Think with my heart and not my head. I went on there for the course of four months uh, after I had filed for our divorce. After the four months, I grown tired because after observing him, he didn't change. He didn't want to change. He wasn't trying to make any changes within himself or himself or whatever the case may have been. So I had to break away from him, away from that bond I thought in my mind I had with him. Um, during that course, the person that I had an affair with was incarcerated. So that also gave me and out. I didn't want to no longer deal with him either because, like I said earlier, the relationship was toxic. The reason there being was because he was making false promises. It was promises that he could never keep. Um, he was a boy in a romance body, put it that way at the same time put me in debt. I was taking care of a grown boy. I grown tired of that. Let me tell you something, I grown tired of that because I got too old for it and mind you I still have a daughter and all that. I'm gonna tell you, over that period, after the separation of my husband, then husband, I had got an apartment. Uh, me and the person I was having an affair with made an agreement that, you know, go half on the bills. But a long story short, he can keep his end of the bargain. I was tired of being displaced, so you know, I was like, you know what? It came to a point where I I, I just had to get out of that relationship and when he how this happened how we split was after i lost my apartment because i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna keep it real i sort of back into the hotel life again okay got tired of him not once more than once cheating on me that came to the light, proved that the person he was cheating on me with was his daughter's mother. And make it so crazy how, you know, to end that toxic relationship came easy for me was because this is the stupidest move I had ever seen in my life. 
he decided that he wanted to go to North Carolina and go live with his daughter's mother's mother to want to get himself together. And me then, I was stupid and naive. I'm like, okay, fine, go ahead. But I was like, deep down, I was like, okay, now here, here I go again. Being abandoned, no place to go, basically. Basically, in my mind, I was, I was just everywhere. Depending on a man, which I should have been, should have been depending on myself. Which, later on down the road, I, I did that. Um, went down there for two months, can't come back and think everything was cool. This gave me enough time to be like, I don't want you anymore, you know. At the same time, like, you know, my mind was back and forth uh, between my ex-husband and this man. Okay. So, I'm like, I had enough. For a while, I was supporting him while he was incarcerated. But when it got to, I said, the third, fourth month, I grown tired. I didn't want to go visit him, have visitation. I didn't want to send him no more money for a canteen or whatever. I didn't want to even talk to him over the phone. So, I had cut him off. When he got out, I told him during the course of he was incarcerated uh, in a local county near me, I have written him uh, saying that I was getting myself together. And, you know, spiritually, Mostly physically, all that. And at the time when I stepped back to reevaluate myself and coming to know, you know, like getting to know myself all over again and have prayer, trying to grow, grow close to our Heavenly Father or whatever. And Bible study, having, you know, Bible study or whatever, get, basically get myself, cleansing myself of to toxicity, okay, just, I was clearing, you know, the, the, the people that I used to hang with, if you looked at my previous videos, I had family in those videos, I even separated myself from them because it was, it was toxic, anyway, the job that I had, I'm not going to make this long. I met, excuse me, another man at my job. This is after I did my work, the work on myself. And I gave myself time. Met a wonderful man. And I had, we were taking things slow, which I appreciate that now. Then I was appreciated, but I appreciated it more because now it has been a year. I think a year and going on three months. Um, I'm planning to, we're planning to marry, uh, get married. And not once, I'm going to tell y'all this. This man is very respectful. He has not once called me off my name. Any promise that he made, he has kept, he has honored. Um, he's kind. He's understanding. He's mature. He's a hard worker. He works every day. And he's patient. He will sit there and listen. To whatever I'm going through or what's happening with me or physically say headache or something like that he's willing even though when he get off from work he 
he's tired, he will actually take out the time and be like, okay, you're back, you're not feeling well. What do you need for me to do? Or what do you need for me to get for you? Things like that. Or is there something on your mind that you want to talk about? It doesn't even matter if he's tired, if he's hurting. You know, and I appreciate that. With my past experiences with my marriage for 22 years, we didn't do that. The dude I had a affair with, my then husband, didn't do that. All there was concerned, both of those, both of them, those men, I shall say grown boys, but think about themselves. So I'm saying this. I am blessed. I am content. I am happy. I have grown into a mature woman. As y'all can see. Not once have I cussed. Another thing, y'all have seen a cup in my hand. Or any alcoholic breath. Third, third, you had seen me smoke. So, I know y'all have served. And I know you could tell that my face was because of my hair, because I got a haircut, as y'all can see. Um, it's, I guess you call it glowing, but anyway. <laughs> but I am wearing glasses. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm happy and I'm blessed. I really am. And I love this man. I'm in love with him. He feels the same as I do. And we're still taking time to know each other. That's the thing. Time. Don't have to rush. And he's a god fearing man. That's the main thing I was looking for. We pray, we pray together over our food. Before we go to bed, we wake up, we'll go about our day. And what more can you ask for? If I would have somebody, someone would have actually had taken out the time to help me along in my youth to tell me about these red flags. I seen them, but throughout the years, I was like I said, I was naive and I was ignorant and stupid. But actually having someone mature try to help and guide you, I probably would have been better. But like I said, you live and you learn from your mistakes. But to those men and ladies, what I'm saying, my message to, to you all are, is don't let one person or two, it doesn't matter if you're dating, one bad experience or experiences cause you cause your heart to harden or cause you to be cold because let me tell you something you might miss out on your blessing if you do that oh I'm gonna give up on love F love you know it ain't nothing ain't nothing out here there's plenty of good people out here it's how you present yourself it's your character and then you have to take out the time to to actually ask yourself, what have I improved in my life? What steps do I need to take in order to better myself? And then, you know, pray for guidance. And most people need peace in their life. 
you can start off as you know if you have toxic people in your life remove them remove them you're not gonna get nowhere in life if you keep having the same people around you see i'm i'm by myself right now my you know soon to be a husband is at work my fiance but i like to say my soon to be husband and i i'm not on the phone talking to nobody it don't mean me no good. So that's all I have for my update because I know y'all haven't seen me in forever. <laughs> but if y'all have any questions, concerns, or just want to get in contact with me, y'all know what to do. Peace. Love y'all.